Hey everybody, we are here today with John Anderson. And John, you have a new project out. It's a new CD and it's called Gold Mine. How'd you come up with the name? Well, actually it's named after a song on there that Josh Turner and I wrote together called Gold Mine, which the song is about uh, our our girls, you know, uh, having, having Jamie's just like having a gold mine. <laughs> but actually when it came time to title the, the CD, uh, there were a few titles in mind and Gold Mine was one of them. And uh, it came back a couple of my friends that, that who I, you know, I'd say, well, we think we ought to call this, you know, uh -huh. and gave them some of the choices and Gold Mine, of course, being one. And, and a couple of them end up saying, you might ought to call it Gold Mine because uh, we think it's a gold mine of country music. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, I wouldn't put that much on myself to say that, but on the other hand, it's a nice thought. So we'll go with it, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why it's yeah, called Gold Mine. Being... Now, a lot more traditional stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's going to fit in with everything? Like, it, it seems like we kind of had the new era after the Stapleton stuff and all that. Is that you feel like that's going to? Well, honey, it's help? not fitting in at all <laughs> <laughs> with the new stuff. It is it, what it is by itself, by itself out there on the side, yeah. and. Uh, Thank goodness we still have enough fans and folks who like that kind of music Amen. that, uh, yes. you know, it's working okay for us, you know. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. not, uh, no, it's not making me rich by having my own little company, Bayou Boys, and doing that. Uh, all that allows me to do is do things my own way, very which good. I'm very, very proud to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. At this stage in the game, uh, that's an accomplishment. Absolutely. Uh, you know, if you can get the money and go in the studio and do things your own way, then uh, you're doing pretty good, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. it's worked out for us. Uh, in fact, uh, this past year, uh, probably due to Goldmine and some little publicity that we've done without for about nine years now. Mm -hmm. And I might add, even then, when we released a record then, uh, the record label that it was on was so dysfunctional at the time, I wished we hadn't released it. I mean, if that tells the story. Right. I'm sorry that it even came out. However, um, you know, Goldmine, uh, nine years later, is making a little bit of noise and just enough noise to uh, to keep us happy and keep us working at it, you know. Right. Now, you released the first single off of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many, how, are you out doing radio promotion with it now? Well, or? we've been doing, yeah, just some spotted stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, uh, and, and I feel like, too, it's still very much the beginning stages of this record. I feel like we have four or five singles on it. Oh, absolutely. So uh, by the time that's finished, maybe the whole overall picture will be changed. Uh, the, biggest, the biggest challenge for me is on this new label with this new record is getting through to my fan base that we do have it out and that they might want it, you right, know. Right, Uh And at this point, the only real way I know they can get it, I mean, I could tell them to go to Walmart and Hastings, but a lot of times they seem to be out of product. Uh, so in that case, too, we're trying to develop the website in a, in a more efficient way that we mm -hmm. can start selling more product from the website make a long story short, we're just trying to incorporate and get all the, the John Anderson, Anderson fans that want in on it uh, where they know it's available. Right. Now, I assume that you're utilizing social media, the Twitters and Facebooks and Instagrams and all that. Any videos going to come out? Yes, actually, we do have some video material that we're just now finishing up as far as uh, uh, getting it all put together. Uh, there's going to be several... Uh, I, several website type videos mm -hmm. that are exclusive just to me and my mm -hmm. website uh, acoustic performances uh, we've we've done and actually there's uh, we did a, a Christmas special that'll be aired on our website okay. uh, and, and so like I say just trying to promote and uh, get people interested in that also mm-hmm and it's a big step. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. and I'm pretty much a dinosaur when it comes to that. But now <laughs> I've, I've incorporated some folks that are 
up on the social media mm -hmm. and uh, and we're going to move forward with it. Yeah. Now, do you do any of your own social media or do you rely well, on actually, your team? Well, actually, it's funny how it, just last night I decided uh, I'm going to take control. I'm going to oversee which videos we release and when we release them and, and the stuff that's posted for the most part, other than just fan pictures and things. Right. I, I will oversee. Yeah, well, that's good. That's well, I'm going to have to. <clears throat> have yeah. you have you incorporated the Periscope? Have you gotten into that yet? No, or not? no, not yet. That's like the next new big thing is everybody's okay. Periscoping live video kind of. A well, I've, Facetime. -ish. We're set. We're yeah. set up for all that. Good. In fact, there again, good. my my Christmas special is an exact example of that. Right. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing, and and in fact, my particular website. Uh, We've got advanced technology that allows us to be broadcast as like a television station. Right. So, you know, we're working on that. And, and actually, I was one of the first guys in town to have that, but we've not really used it yet. Right. So, so right. now I'm almost late. Getting, getting out there. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> getting it done. Now, you had a, a hand in writing all the songs at one, correct? Mm hmm. And Merle wrote that. Mm hmm. How did uh, how that come about that you you know you recorded his song? Oh well, actually he called my house. Okay. <laughs> hey John, this is Merle. I said, wow man, good to hear from you. I'm writing this song down here in Macon, Georgia. And the more I write on it, the more it sounds like you. I thought, man, I can't believe you'd be thinking about me. But yeah, you just finish it and I'll do it. I told him. And so he did finish it. And I did it. I mean, it was pretty much that simple. That's awesome. He finished it, and, and I saw him three or four months later. He came to town. I said, did you finish that song? <laughs> I, I'll never forget. It was classic. He pulled a little piece of paper out of his back pocket and spread it out, had the lyrics, and told his son, Ben, go get that guitar. It, it was very classic. Ah. Perfect. I mean, it's one of the one of the finer moments That's, in my country music life. I would but now, say. Merle has been a big part of several of the fine moments in my country music life. So right. uh, again, he, he's he's pretty much uh, my hero, and and I thank him for uh, even thinking of me. You know, he's mm -hmm. included me. He's told people that I was a great singer too, and uh, things like that. And when it comes from Merle Haggard. It means a lot. It means an awful lot, yeah. Absolutely does. Um, you had a good good run with everything and lots of awards and everything like that. Any of them mean more to you than another, or do you have any special moments that surrounded any of them? That Well, there are special moments that surround each and every one of them as far mm -hmm. as awards, and there are reasons that you either get them or you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess there's a lot of them we didn't get for reasons. <laughs> On the other hand, the ones we got, uh, very, very thankful for, uh, you know, all the way from the ACM awards, the CMA awards, to mm -hmm. being inducted in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Right. Uh, just recently, I was, I was presented with uh, the Bass Pro Shops Conservationist of the Year Award, and uh, awards like that mean an awful lot to me also, as it, it has something to do with... Uh, a part of my life that's not spent under the spotlight exactly, and yes. something that I'm very very passionate about is wildlife and the outdoors and and saving habitat for mm -hmm. animals so I you know I'm pleased to get that good the holidays coming up you have big plans for the holidays oh always big plans for christmas good. always good around the anderson house uh, <laughs> any traditions that oh, you can share oh it's just a big well I mean it's just a you know, for about a week, it's just Christmas time. Uh, and wrote a song with my buddy once called Christmas Time. Uh, Lionel Delmore and myself wrote it. Mm -hmm. And it pretty much, I think it sums it up, you know. It's like, talked about the family and the great food and the good times and the presents. And uh, uh, one, one thing that doesn't mention that song is the fact that it's uh, Jesus' birthday which again is very, very important to me. Mm -hmm. That started being important to me as uh, I come from good Christian folks, uh, George and Juanita Anderson, who, who who taught and instilled in us that uh, the reason for Christmas that we celebrate 
was because it's Jesus' birthday. Mm -hmm. And so I've never forgotten that. In fact, uh, there again, I've written songs about, you know, uh, as well as written songs about the good, the light side of Christmas. Uh, I wrote a song once called Jesus Our Savior. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'll never forget, it was right at Christmas time. And I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I looked out at the Christmas tree and all the presents. And before I could even think of what or why, this song came to me. And I woke up and half asleep, I wrote down four verses. And and I just laid the paper down and went back to bed and woke up the next morning and that song was there. It was, it was like a, a Christmas gift from the Lord, mm -hmm. actually. And uh, I never changed a word. Wow. I knew how the melody went when I woke up, which is, again, strange. Usually I'll forget if I don't I'm the put it way. down or write, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I didn't forget this one. And there again, it, it kind of instilled to me, you know, because I was wondering as I looked out the tree and the presents, say, you know, are we missing? Mm -hmm. Are we here at the Anderson house? Are we starting to miss the... Boy, and that song came down on me. And uh, and I realized after that was over, no, we're not missing it. It's, it's here. There. That's yeah. good. Has there ever been one particular gift that maybe... Has stuck with you? Oh, I've years? said it for many, many years. Uh, when I was 12 years old, I got a shotgun for Christmas, and then, boy, that was a, that was a turning. Actually, I was uh, like the right of manhood, you know, in our yep. family. Yep. When I was finally that old, I would have my own mm -hmm. shotgun, yep. and and supposed to have enough sense to carry it wisely, yep. and. Uh, I think I did that. Mm -hmm. Anything that you've ever given that meant a lot to you to pass along or to pay it forward or anything like that? that Mainly uh, at this point, of course, yeah, I've given some nice things, but maybe at this point some of the most important things that we've given would be the shows mm -hmm. that we, uh, the benefits that we did for Christmas and uh, uh, Christmas reasons and different functions that we're celebrating and trying to raise money for Christmas. Uh, uh, you know, through the years, I think that adds up just trying to do the right thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll definitely encourage all of our listeners and followers to put this CD in their stocking for you oh, this year. Oh, well, so, bless your heart. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Anything you'd like to add about the new project that you're excited about that we didn't cover? Well, uh, one of the things, an issue seems to be uh, a lot of the fans, it's hard for them to find in, uh, in all the, the record stores and this and that. I mean, a few of them have it, and, but a few of them don't. Uh, you can for sure, if you come to the website, johnanderson.com, uh, you know, you can get one there. As well as, you know, too, we're fixing to offer a lot more like I say, live streaming stuff and just different little videos and music that we're playing. Uh, we're fixing to beef up that website quite a bit. So uh, I would invite our fans to to check it out and, and hey, check it out a couple of weeks later and see the changes, you know. There you go. Come yeah. back often. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, it's been great talking to you today. I'm excited to get a full listen of everything. I've had some snippets, so oh, well. we're excited. Well, thank I hope you, you enjoy. And we will. Thank you so much for your help. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, you're free to talk. You're